All right, guys, welcome back to Noob to Home Brew. Uh, this is the first vlog style video where I'll be talking about a few things that I've got coming up, a few things that we've done, and basically just uh, chewing the cud. So, firstly, let's get a beer poured. Uh, I've actually got a Pilsner. In fact, let's cut to it uh, and let's have a look at it. A fantastic Pilsner. All right, traditionally, uh, well, brewed it traditionally at lower, lower temperatures, around 18 degrees uh, Celsius, and it fermented for, Christ, a good two weeks, um, two, three weeks, possibly, possibly a bit longer, actually. It was in the carboy. It had been sat in the carboy fermenting for that long. It was crystal clear, all right, and there was... Uh, the yeast bed was, was quite um, pronounced on the bottom, which led me to do something um, quite interesting. I saw a video about um, beer that had cleared and when you bottle it and prime it, it takes longer to prime because all the yeast has left the beer, it's down at the bottom. And uh, actually, it was uh, Craig actually did this, and he stirred. So he he poured some out of the uh, demi he had into a bottle, and then he stirred the yeast back into the beer, so it was cloudy again. Poured it into the second bottle, and capped them both the same. Added the same amount of priming sugar. The one that was clear was almost flat and was taking longer to uh, carbonate. And the one that he stirred up was well carbonated. So I did that with this one. I stirred the yeast back into it. It's crystal clear. Uh, got a bit of frosting on the glass because it's cold. Crystal clear and that's the best carbonation I've got. So Craig, thanks for that tip. Cheers guys, let's have a taste of it. Pardon me, this Pilsner is very refreshing. It's it's fantastic. It's it's new, it's young. Uh, it's Wednesday, uh, Tuesday today, so it would actually have been bottled two weeks, uh, Sunday just gone. So it's been bottled just over two weeks, and I'm sure that the flavours in this will really come out when left. I've got it down here beside me, I've got about 40. Uh, about 36 bottles left because we had friends round last night and I cracked a few open and this is going to be perfect in the summer if it, if it makes it that long it's crisp it's fresh the flavours are not overpowering uh, it smells it smells like an ale but but the yeast that's uh, been used is a lager yeast which was producing a sulfury smell, so it has got that smell of lager about it. There's more um, hops and malts to it, but the hops are very subtle. So it, it's not really flowery or. More, um, sort of citrusy, but the mouthfeel is 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 good for the type of drink actually. Like I say, it's refreshing, so it doesn't feel heavy. So yeah, that's the Pilsner. Uh, finished work early today, guys. Uh, so I thought I'll shoot this video, and it's five o'clock. I thought. I'm not driving anywhere tonight. Let's crack a beer open. After all, <laughs> right? So, so that's that. Right. What have I been getting up to? Well, as you can see, over here is uh, the Conquer Wood that we brewed up. Uh, this is currently sitting at about 18 degrees. I've got to light the fire tonight, get the temperature up, and uh, hence the 
cardigan. Ooh, cardigan. <laughs> uh, this is the, um, sorry, sorry, so the conquer wood. Uh, wrap that into the carboy on Saturday. Uh, so uh, it's off the trub that's, that was at the bottom and it's starting to ferment again. It's starting to push bubbles through the airlock. So that is sitting sitting nice. I'll keep that in there another probably 10 days uh, until these bubbles stop or I get sort of one every two minutes and then I know it's ready for bottling. Obviously I'll test it with a hydrometer. And over here is the stout. Uh, not done the uh, stout before and this is the Christmas stout that you've seen. So it's doing well. It's really doing well. It's, in fact, it's doing. It was doing that well after 24 hours of uh, putting it in this bucket. It actually started pushing stout through the airlock, and uh, woke up on the Sunday morning. We brewed it on the Saturday, and this was almost dry. This airlock, so it had, it it, uh, it had sort of pushed all the water out. So luckily, I caught it in time. I topped the airlock up with sanitizer. And it's it's sort of doing its thing now. I will be racking that into a carboy probably tomorrow night. So that's that one. That's the stout. That's the granddad's Christmas stout for my mum. Why banana wine is clearing well. The plum wine is almost finished fermenting. Actually, I've not seen any bubbles coming out of that um, yet tonight. So I'll keep my eye on that. And if it's done fermenting. And we'll rack it into a clean demijohn, uh, add the potassium sorbate in the cabinet tablet and leave that to uh, to clear. Uh, I might have to filter that one, I don't know. And the hard apple cider that you saw that we brewed up is still fermenting well. It's probably bubbling every three seconds. So the vigorous fermentation has finished but it's still still doing its thing. I've not. I've found that the hard apple cider it doesn't seem to matter the temperature so much. Uh, when it's dropped cold in this room, that thing has not stopped fermenting. So definitely want us to, to try if you want it to start out. A couple of boxes here, guys. The first one is actually going all the way to Canada. Uh, I mentioned in the first update video that I was uh, wanting to get in touch with Craig from Craig Tube. Uh, anyway, I messaged, it, messaged him and asked him if I could uh, send him some of my home brews uh, for him to, to test. And uh, he messaged me back last night saying, yeah, I'd love to taste some of your home brews. Um, send me an email and I'll email you back my address. So got all the packaging in there ready to send them so I'll keep you posted on uh, on when they arrive at, to his uh, address sorry it's no problem hey Siri how can I help you this afternoon play some crowded house Looking for crowded. Technology blows me away. I must be an old far, but uh, that's one of the things that amazes me about uh, YouTube is that you can contact people at the other side of the world and they message you back and you talk to them as if you were in the same room or you know next door neighbours. It's always baffled me that uh, just how easy it is. And so that's why I'm really excited about uh, sending this package to uh, Craig because I know when he gets it he'll do a video on it and he'll be tasting some beer that I've brewed up in England all the way over in Canada and that to me is just mind boggling. So back to that, back to that, what am I going to put in here? Right, I've got space for two beers alright. So I think I'm going to send him A Midas Touch. <laughs> yes, that is the last Midas Touch. 
Well, I've got another one down here, but I'm going to save that one. Just see how it, how long it can last without drinking it. See what the flavours, how the flavours change. That's the last Midas Touch I'll be drinking for a while. And I'm going to send it to Craig because I really like that one, and I want to see if he likes it. So that's the first one. The second one is going to be the Donna and Blitz Christmas Ale with the added sugar that we added. I'm going to send him that one because when I was drinking it young, after two or three weeks of it being bottled, I wasn't sure about it. And it was because the fruity flavours that they added to the, uh, to the brew were coming across quite uh, tangy, not sour, but tangy, right on the side of your tongue. And it was quite, for me it was overpowering, I didn't really like it, it spoilt it for me. If it didn't have that, it would, it, it would have been perfect. So I left it well alone. About a month later, I took it to a bonfire party that we had, and people were trying this Christmas ale, and were going bananas over it, couldn't get enough of it. It's fantastic, it's great, and I thought, I really don't like it, there must be something wrong with me. I gave some to my uncle, he said, That's, that is it, if I, want to brew, if I want you to brew me some, I want you to brew me some of that. So I got another bottle out, got it in the fridge, got it cold, and I thought I'm going to try it again just to see if it's just me being stupid. And tried it, and it, the flavours had completely changed. All right, that um, tangy flavour from the fruits element had mellowed, uh, and the aftertaste there was a sort of almondy aftertaste to it. So now it's an enjoyable drink. So it just goes to show, if you're brewing something and you're not keen on it straight away, just leave it, just, just let it sit, leave it a month or so and try it again, because it will probably change completely. That has changed completely to when I was drinking it young. So I'm back on that. So I'm gonna let him see what he thinks to them too. I've got some really good packaging actually from work. I've got some really thick, um, it's almost like laggy, but they put it around the size of baths to protect them, which will sit around them. So that's that's that. Uh, what else we've got to talk about? Move them to one side. And in this box is something very, very special to me indeed. As I said, I was brewing up the Irish Stout, which is going to be uh, a replica of the Jubilee Stout that my granddad used to drink at Christmas and I'm doing this for my mum and she come round Saturday morning with these and I didn't know she had these and she's passed them on to me she says now's the time for you to have them so my granddad would be thrilled that you're doing this and it'd have been in his element if it had been here so she passed me these so I'm going to show you what they are now my granddad was quite a local um, sportsman in uh, Nottingham and then when he moved to Derbyshire in Derbyshire and uh, did a lot of running and whatnot and uh, the prizes that he, he got were various things but these two are what he used every Christmas to drink his beer out of look at that that's fantastic Cooked Crystal. He won these for uh, uh, one of the races he did. I'd ask my mum which one it is, but I'm, I'm sure she can't remember. But the only time he used these glasses, guys, was at Christmas. So she's passed them on to me and she said, I think it's time you had them now. I think there was six and there's now only two, which my mum has given me. So my dad is quite the carpenter and I'm going to ask him to make me a box up. Uh, to put these in so I can keep them safe but for now I'm keeping them out of the way up here I just thought I'd share that with you so I'm sure when the Christmas uh, stout is done me and my mum will pour one into here and we'll, we'll enjoy it so that's pretty cool I love it when, when uh, you get little surprises like that actually when I got married my mum gave me uh, some of the 
silver uh, butter knives that he'd won. And they were in a case and that's things like that I love, you know, the priceless, priceless things. Let's not get too sentimental. So what else, what else, what else? Back to the conquer wood. Alright, the conquer wood. We added the dry hops, which I've still got here, I've just been lazy and not throwing them away. This bag I've used twice already and I've washed it and it's dropping to bits, so they're cheap enough to get. So I'm going to get another one of these. But I did taste what was dripping out of this and it had quite a citrusy flavour to it. So, I mean, they still smell great. The smell is very citrusy, a little bit um, spicy as well. So I can't see how that is going to have hurt that. If if that smell and taste has been imported into that, I can't see how it's going to do anything but enhance its, its flavour. So that was the dry hopping. Obviously when we bottle it and we taste it, we'll see if it's actually uh, <laughs> hindered it or helped it. But that was the old conquer wood from Muntons. Like I say, I'm going to knock the heating up tonight and uh, get these fermented again. Yeah, I had uh, some good response already on the channel. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but um, I've been checking the, the channel and the subscribers hasn't gone up. No, it's either because no one's subscribing or there's a fault with YouTube. Uh, I actually messaged um, a few people on the forum. Uh, and search for it on Google and it appears that people are having the same problem. Uh, so it's saying 11 subscribers, although the the view counter is is going up and up and up every day, which is good. And when you click on the subscribers, all you see is just one subscriber. So I'm pretty sure there's an error. So it would be interesting to see actually how many subscribers uh, I've got. So when they saw that out, if they ever sort it out, that would be great. But as long as I know that you're enjoying the videos and there are people watching them, I will keep doing them obviously. So leave your comments below because your feedback is what's going to get this channel growing. Uh, if you want to see me do stuff, if you want to see me brew more wine, let me know and I'll do it. I mean I will be doing it but you know what I mean. If you want me to run through anything, I'll do it in a video. And yeah, not taking it too, too uh, seriously just sitting back and enjoying a beer and uh, running through some of the things I've encountered and some of the things I've done. Oh, that's really good. That is really easy to drink. That could be dangerous. So, let me know what you think. Leave your comments and questions below. As always, subscribe. And uh, if there's anything you want me to do, leave a comment below and I'll, uh, I'll do it. You know, obviously, within reason. <laughs> So that's it guys, just to recap then, Pilsner, good, bottles of beer, send it to Craig, Picton, Conquer Wood, fermented well in the carboy, Stout, has fermented really well and is ready to go into a carboy, Banana Wine is clearing, uh, Plum Wine is ready for killing off and uh, racking into a secondary carboy, uh, Demijohn, on. and this bad boy, the hard apple cider is still fermenting well. I'll do updates on, on everything and let you know how we're going on with it. So that's it guys, stay safe, keep home brewing and uh, we'll see you shortly.